Meta Monday and another meta pick for Nationals. Again, assuming there aren't any delays and BT11 is legal, there are quite a few decks to consider playing. And while Black War Greymon X is going to be the problem child, Mastamon has a few tools it can use to deal with it. As always, if you enjoy these types of videos, do consider liking the video, subscribing to the channel, and hitting that notification bell for more future content. Meta deck profiles are some of my favorite videos to do on the channel. It requires a little bit of research and playtesting to figure out what works when playing against other meta-specific contenders. But do keep in mind that this deck is a template for what worked for me and might not necessarily work for you. Practice makes perfect. This deck runs 5 level 2s, 10 level 3s, 8 level 4s, 11 level 5s, 6 level 6s, 2 level 7s, 8 option cards, and 5 tamers. For level 2s, this deck runs 4 BT2 Demi Merrimon and 1 starter deck Niaramon. Honestly, you could forgo the Niaramon altogether. This deck plays slower and you only push out of the raise if you're ready to combo off. Because Niaramon requires you to have a yellow Digimon in play, sometimes this effect doesn't go off. However, for players who want to assert dominance and slam that Godamon down on turn 1, you'll have that yellow Mon already out. But like always, Demi Merrimon is the best egg for this deck. Whether you go into a yellow or purple Digimon, you'll always be able to draw one and trash one to unbreak your hand. No other viable substitutes exist at this time other than Tokomon from BT11 should you go the yellow base route. But this also has a specific condition that needs to be met to draw a card. For level 3s, this deck runs only 10. 4 Ignite Mon, 2 BT3 Gazimon, 2 Psychmon, and 2 Mastamon starter deck Salamon. Ignite Mon is the only new purple level 3 you add to this deck. Not for its win attacking effect necessarily, although you could use it when faced against a larger threat, but also because of its inheritable that lets you gain one memory when you play a Digimon by an effect. Flame Hell Sights become 5 costs instead when you play a Digimon from it. Gazimon and Psychmon aim to serve as your floodgates for cross decks and memory gain shenanigans, and 2 Salamon primarily because that end of turn DNA is so important to go into your Mastamon plays. No other substitutes because deck space is tight. Although I argue whether Psychmon's use is as important moving into BT11, where Cross is not played as much. Moving to level 4s, this deck runs 2 BT11 Devimon, 2 BT11 Angemon, and 4 starter deck Gatomon. Devimon and Angemon are convenient Digimon to Digivolve into from a yellow or purple Digimon. Their effects also synergize well with one another in that if you have Mastamon out, you can swing with Angemon and bypass Black War Greymon X's redirect effect. If it's deleted, play Devimon and chip away. But Godomon is the real MVP here in that she can find your main combo pieces of Lady Devimon and Anduomon to really start popping off. Especially if Mirei is on the battlefield. Level 5 wise, this deck runs a lot of different level 5s. 3 BT11 Lady Devimon, 1 Lusamon Chaos Mode, 1 Starter Deck Lady Devimon, 1 Magna Angemon from BT1, 2 BT11 Angelomons, and 3 Angelomons from the starter deck. Ratio-wise, this will be where you have a lot of room to adjust, although commonality-wise amongst Metalists, 1 Lusamon Chaos Mode and 1 Magna Angemon is the norm. Lusamon allows destruction of Digimon or Tamers, while Magna Angemon can help recover security. Old starter deck Lady Devimon has a when digivolving effect that lets you trash one card, then reveal the top 3 to add one yellow and purple Digimon with Angel, Archangel, or Fallen Angel to your hand. Viable targets being any of your Devimon or Angemons, any of your level 5s, and any of your level 6s. Starter Deck Angelomon lets you hit a monster on board for minus 2 security attack when played. While the newest editions of BT11 Lady Devimon allows you to trash a card and return a Mirei or a card with Angel, Archangel, or Fallen Angel from trash to hand. Angelmon does the same thing, but instead lets you check your security for those hits. In playtesting, the minus 2 security can keep you alive for several turns, and is very helpful in the Black War Greymon X matchup. But the newest ladies of BT11 have amazing inheritables. For level 6s, it comes to Ophanimon Falldown Mode and 4 copies of Mastamon from the starter deck. Ophanimon can help with recovering security or deleting Digimon at level 4 or less depending on the timing of Digivolution. But Mastamon is the real key player here when it comes to setting up a very obnoxious board. 
Mastamon in combination with BT11 Lady Debimon and Angelmon provide you blocker and retaliation on your opponent's turn for all your Angel, Archangel, and Fallen Angel Digimon. By DNA Digivolving with these two specifically, you don't necessarily have to attack as you can just use your Angels to chump block away. Luckily, you can recycle your Mastamons when they're deleted with Lady Debimon's effect. But for level 7s, this is an interesting one. In playtesting, I actually went with two Death Xmons over one Death Xmon and one Ordinemon. Don't get me wrong, Ordinemon is very viable in this particular deck. But when it comes to playing against Black Wargreymon X, the card just feels dead considering you can't pop anything with its effect. At least with Death Xmon, you can put a real problem on the board. And in some playtest matches, I actually digivolved into it. Weird? Not necessarily considering Black Wargreymon X decks don't have a lot of stuff on board typically. Not a whole lot else to say, but considering Death Xmon is just Death Xmon. Four option cards, this deck runs one Calling from the Darkness, three Flame Hellscythe, and four Chaos Degradation. In playtesting, Flame Hellscythe never really came up as a great solution against Black War Greymon X. But Chaos Degradation? All the yes. As long as you're not recklessly swinging into Sekiri and giving them the potential Yuya, yeah, you could pretty much just play the stall game and let them deck themselves out. As for Calling of Darkness, I think it's useful. It allows you to recycle any of your Gatomons, Lady Debimons, and even any of your top end, including Death Xmon. And finally, five Tamers in the form of three Mirei Mikagura and two BT8 Kari Kamiya. In regards to Mirei, you need to find her fast or get her out on the board fast. With her effect, you can promote up even a simple Gatomon, Evo into any of your Lady Devimon or Angelomons, and then use their effects to find their respective counterparts before suspending Mirei to play the other for free. This in turn sets up your Mastamon plays quick to either start smashing into security or even setting up the counterplay to Black War Greymon X. As for Kari Kamiya, you have many ways to recover security, whether it be Magna Angemon, Ophanimon, or even Mastamon's effect. There are ways you can be flexible with your plays and still choke with one memory in combination of Ignitemon, Kari Kamiya's effect, Flame Hellscythe, and even Angelmon or Lady Devimon if they're on board. Remember, Ignitemon gains you one memory when a Digimon is played by card effect. Kari's effect gains you a memory if security is recovered, Flame Hellscythe plays the Digimon, and Angelmon and Lady Devimon gain you memory when the other is played. For strengths and weaknesses, this deck has the amazing strength of having much more efficient cards with BT11 and searchability. Additionally, while you could attack, you have many ways to stall your opponent, especially in the Black War Greymon X matchup, if you constantly return Angelomon to the battlefield to give their Digimon minus 2 security. While you don't necessarily have to attack, as they dig more cards, they'll inevitably deck out before you do. But weakness-wise, I went through a few variants and found that this deck can horrendously brick. Because of this, I upped my level 3 count to 10 from many lists that have 9 or even 8 rookies. Remember against Black War Greymon X, your option cards can at times be completely useless if they digivolved in the same level that turn and used you as effect. Waiting the extra turn can be the difference between ending the game or having that Chaos Degradation active again to ship that Black War Greymon X away. But in general, what are your thoughts on Mastamon as a meta pick going to Nationals? Is it on your list of potential candidates? Or are you wanting to run something else instead? Let me know your thoughts as I progress to some other possible decks over the next couple of weeks as the road to Nationals meta analysis and testing continues. This is Digipanda, logging out.